All right, today we're going to unbox the Schneider 60 amp, 150 volt charge controller that's going to power my bachelor ship. Uh, I got this from New Mexico Solar Warehouse. Killer deal on it. It's great for a small starter 24 volt system, pretty similar to what the Earthships have. They may have an 80 amp just so they can expand with the panels and battery options. This is going to be plenty for the bachelor ship. Uh, potentially running some lights to the chicken coop and who knows landscaping stuff whatever so let's get to opening it see what it's all about <clears throat> excuse me so first of all when you're opening stuff like this keep like use a blade but just a little bit of the blade don't shove the whole thing into it that's a common sense thing but you never know anymore so just gonna go ahead continue to open And right on top, we're going to have, this is a battery temperature sensor. So this will go on one of the lugs, most likely the positive. And that's just going to plug into the charge controller, give you a better reading on how your batteries are doing, uh, more accurate gauge, uh, along with just checking them monthly for water levels that at a glance on the Connex display pad will tell you what your batteries are doing. Uh, paperwork here looks like the documentation update user's manual some stickers that if you had a licensed electrician installing this for you they would most likely install these or put these on the unit just for anyone in the future coming to work on it through the warnings all that good stuff so all the paperwork is there let's see here this is a quality control test so it's passing right here and it's showing everything that they checked as far as battery voltage, array voltage, battery current, array current. So they're checking the current and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the voltage and the amperage. So that's where you get that 60 amp, 150 volt. They made sure it's ready to take care of that kind of power. Gonna remove the cardboard. All right, not much there. Find something to repurpose that into. And there is a charge controller. It's upside down, no worries. Turn it around. And this actually does come with a little display, so it's gonna give you a readout there. You can also get, like I said, the Connex display module that gives you more options as far as running through and seeing what your system is doing. All right. What else we got here? A little desiccant. Keep any moisture from ruining the product. One-handed, not very heavy, so that's awesome. So a nice light unit. I'm going to use this cardboard here on the south wire wire spool. Uh -huh. And again, just using a little bit of the knife so I'm not tearing into the unit itself. All right. Cool. So there's the stickers I mentioned right here. So these are... And Espanol. So, no worries there. You just put those over top of these if that's where you're at. Got a knockout here. So that's somewhere we can come in with some conduit. Same thing on the bottom. And on this side as well. And on the back. So various options for hanging this up. As far as putting it on a wall, under a cabinet. Whatever the situation or the location may be. You got multiple knockouts. So that way you're covered as far as lines coming in, lines going out to the batteries, to the array, to the inverter, to whatever needs to happen. So with that, I mean, that's basically the unboxing of the Connex 150 volt 60 amp charge controller. The next step is just gonna be getting it basically installed because once I take these off, it'll have the battery in and the array in. And that's about it as far as the main things you're gonna to wanna to worry about. Um, and we'll cover that on the next video. So once I get this hung up, we'll take this cover plate off, see what it's all about underneath of that, and start making power. So stay tuned, hippies. See you soon.